everybody and welcome back to another video today we are going to be doing a very special quest and that we are going to finally go on to the Hildebrand adventures and we're going to start off with a Hengon tale Mashu goes east Jan Lollafell has a lean and hungry look hey uh hey you're a Orzian, right an adventurer may be good at killing and whatnot well I don't like to brag but me? Oh, I'm no good at it. I mean, other than the occasional rat, but um, I've got a job for you, if you're interested. So there's this Makote girl, this incredible, beautiful, wonderful girl in this tavern, right? Come all the way from Eorzea, like you and me. So beautiful, this girl. So beautiful. But in this weird, strange place where people are bowing all the time and getting on the ground and tucking their legs under them, a young girl traveling by herself is in danger. Some bad, bad people could trick her and take her and make her do, you know, things. <sighs> anyway, get in there and keep her safe. I'll be watching. Okay, so that's not the least bit suspicious at all, is it? Though I have a feeling that if this girl is who I think she is, then he has every reason to worry about her. Yep, there she is, and... Is that... Yes, yes, I can be of service to you, my lady. Oh, no, don't tell me that's who I think it is. Is that who I think it is? I think I know who that is. I have seen this gentlemanly Eorzean you seek. Yes, yes, and I should be glad to take you to him if you like. You are ever so kind and helpful, Mr. Talking Cat. Er, Catfish, to be precise, though I care not for the Eorzean. I am Giodo, a Namazu. And the services I provide are not free, I'm sorry to say, nor are they cheap. Are you certain you can afford to pay? Oh dear, I spent my last kill on the fair to Kugane. Is there any other way I can convince you to help? Ahem. Uh Cole, if it isn't clear, don't tell me you came all this way just to help little old me. What are you doing here, Nashu? Ah, you see, when Inspector Hildebrand took to the skies, I said, Nashu, you better not let him get away this time, and immediately began looking for ways to head as far, far east as I could. And you can't get much farther east than the far east, right? I was worried I wouldn't be able to find him, but wouldn't you know it? Gyoza, the talking Numa Numa here, says he knows where he is. Careful, careful, this one knows our game. Escaping her wrath is going to take all our skills. You know, we can hear you. You still causing trouble? I say, there is no need for such menacing glares. None whatsoever. A thousand pardons, my lady, but I had no idea you were traveling with such esteemed company. Forget everything I said regarding the fee. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a pressing engagement. Very pressing indeed. Yes, yes. Wait, you haven't told me where the inspector is yet. Nashu, he was trying to trick you. Huh? Little Gyoza was trying to swindle me? Oh, Nashu, you ought to know better than to trust a talking cat. Well, what would you call yourself? <laughs> You're a Makote. <laughs> I asked lots and lots of other people if they'd seen a gentlemanly Eorzean, but none of them were any help. Oh, Inspector Hildebrand, wherever could you be? Stuck in the ground or in the side of a building, like as not. Keep an eye out for legs. Following his keen inspector sense and searching for a case? Oh, I really want to use the first one, but we'll go for the second. Without even trying, maybe. Remember how he ended up in that snowbank right where Gigi was? It was like the fates conspired to put him in the right place at the right time. Ah, that's it! If the inspector's always on the hunt for a case, then all we've got to do is find the biggest, juiciest one we can, and wait for him to appear. Let's go and see what trouble we can turn up, eh? This way. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? But yeah, I did not expect seeing that Namazu again. Not sure how I feel about that. So, let's just look around and see if anyone has any good, juicy details to share with us. I mean, here's this one guy up here. We'll start with him. Unsolved crimes? Hmm. It so happens that a number of properties owned by wealthy merchants have been pillaged this past fortnight. 
Masaraki Bono's shop in the Rakuza district was the most recent, as I recall, but you may be assured that the Shiki Shigumi will track down the thief in due time. Yeah, sure they will. Keep telling yourself that, buddy, but we all know that's not gonna happen. So I wonder where Hildebrand is. Can we just start looking around for legs sticking out of something and think? Wait a minute, this this guy again. What's he doing? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Hmm. All right, all right, you've got me, Miss Samurai. But before you do anything rash like arrest or torture or chop me into tiny little bits with that sword of yours, know that I never touched her. I mean, I never even had the chance. I, I'm sorry. What on earth are you talking about? Oh, you're that Eorzean adventurer. I thought you looked familiar. Well, I ought to look familiar by now. You, I mean... Phew, for a moment there, I thought I was done for. Those Shiki Shigumi don't mess around. I'll cut first and ask questions later, you know? No romance in their hearts. They wouldn't understand. Okay, that doesn't answer my question. Ah, so it's not just crimes, but big, incredible crimes you want to know about? Incidents the likes of which will send ripples through time and space, through fate and destiny? Um, sure... It was five years ago, or maybe it was last week. I'm not so good with time lately. Anyway, there I was, walking the Udon bustling streets when the sea parts and my eyes meet with those of a maiden most fair, and she stole my heart. It was like two grains of sand in the desert looking at each other, and one of those grains knowing that it was destined to spend the rest of its life with the other grain because she had this whole Shateri scribe thing that made him so... Oh! Okay, I did not need to know that. <sighs> Ever since that day, I watched over her from afar. Silent guardian, a humble protector. Some might think me mad or call me a coward for refusing to speak with her, but they are fools. Fools, I say. True love is not the product of clumsy banter, but careful study. Years and years of observation, of obsession, until you know her better than she knows herself. Yeah, that's what we call stalking. And that is not a healthy relationship, buddy. Perhaps when the time is right, I shall reveal myself to her. But until that blessed day, I shall aid her from the shadows. And you, my friend, will aid her in the light. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Uh, Nashu, you might want be curious to know this, but... I bet this town's crawling with all kinds of shifty folk up to no good. Come on, you lot, show yourselves. Okay, so she's not listening right now. Let's go find this one last person and talk to him, man. I yeah, I I'm not sure how I feel about this all of a sudden. It's it just doesn't sound like... I mean, I think we all can agree that Nashu already kind of loves someone else. At least I think she does. Dastardly doings and portended instances of criminal behavior? This is Kugani, my dear. We've no shortage of that here. But since you ask, the story on everyone's lips is at the Borkasin these days is that the wealthiest among us and how they are being preyed upon by some sneak thief. Perhaps they should invest in better locks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Nashu, we have a story, but, um, I, I think there's something that you might need to know about this creepy little lava fell. Oh, there you are. Learn anything interesting? A uh, skilled thief seems to be targeting wealthy merchants. A creepy little bastard who followed you to Kugane says he's been stalking you for five years. Yeah, I do think she needs to know about that. Though I doubt that she'll be listening. Eh? Oh, you're having me on. As if I wouldn't notice. Be serious now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so... Okay, so since you're not interested in this potential stalker a series of robberies committed by a mysterious thief oh that's just the thing well done Claire our next order of business should be to track down this Akibono and ask him about the latest incident 
All right, let's go. Why do I have the feeling that it's this Lollafell who's doing all these crimes? Just, you think maybe he's just doing it to get her attention? It wouldn't surprise me. Hmm, he certainly looks like a well-to-do merchant. That fiend, that despicable rapscallion, the nerve of him to make mock of us. My thanks to you, Master Akibono, for all of your help. I swear to you on my honor that this sneak thief shall be brought to justice forthwith. And with that, I bid you good day. Ah, so it is Master Okabono. Let's go and ask him about the robbery. Forgive me, my lady. In my haste, I did not see you. Are you all right? Shall I summon a healer? Been over dramatic. Don't worry. I've taken bigger knocks to the noggin than that. Hey, you aren't one of them samurai, are you? Shiguri, at your service, my lady. You have my sincerest apologies for this incident. Much as I would like to make amends for my reckless behavior, I fear duty compels me to make my leave. A nefarious criminal is at large, and I must bring him to justice. Oh, that's all we need. Competition. Well, I'm sure Inspector Hildebrand and his faithful assistants won't lose the likes of him. I don't know. That merchant must know something important for Shiguri to go running off like that. Let's find out what it is. Greetings and salutations, Master Akibuno. My name is Nashi, agent of inquiries, extraordinary inspector. And this is Claire, who's also got a knack for it. Can you tell us about the recent robbery? Uh, inspectors, I've heard rumors that one such as you were come from the West. You seem an honest sort, so I will oblige your request. This very morning, one of my assistants found my establishment unlocked, and when he went inside to investigate, he discovered that my most prized possessions have been stolen. To make matters worse, in their place, he found this message. You have been robbed by the Kugane Wolf Burglar. Wolf Burglar? Surely you've heard about his recent exploits. Similar calling cards were found at the scene of other robberies. Oh, and now I too have become a victim. A series of robberies committed by a thief with a calling card? Oh, there's no way Inspector Hildebrand's going to be able to resist the lure of this case. Er, I thought the two of you were inspectors, but it makes no difference to me who catches the criminal, and since the Shiki Shigumi seem at a loss, you will be generously rewarded for any information that leads to the recovery of my stolen property. I wish you well in your investigation. Hmm, I don't know what to think about him. I mean, he sounded polite. But I just don't trust someone with a fake mustache like that. All we gotta do now is stick with this case and we'll be reunited with Inspector Hildebrand. I just know it. Call it my, er, my keen inspector assistant sense. Anyway, I'm going to try and learn more about the other robberies. If you learn anything interesting, come and find me. Okay, so that's the end of the quest. Hey, wait a minute. That's the end of the quest? There better be another one after this. Well, I feel cheated. 
Okay, that's cute. I will say that is cute. Oh, it's been too long since I've had a chance to whip up a batch of Nashu's delights. You can be sure I'll be putting these little darlings to good use next time. Oh, bugger. Good thing I've got plenty more stashed away. <laughs> oh, and Godbird's in the background. Well, it wouldn't be held to brand without Godbird there, huh? But yeah, I feel cheated again. Come on, Stormblood. Why are you not giving us enough for our buck? You be sure to let me know if you hear anything about... You be sure to let me know if you hear anything new about the Wolf Burglar. I'll do the same. All right, so I guess that's it for now. I don't like that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll be talking again real soon.